Hi, Brad and Kathleen. This is your completed piano, and it turned out great. So let's check it out. So <clears throat> I'm sure you're aware that Mason Hamlin is a, uh, a, a favorite among, among high-end pianists um, pretty much universally, except those that are brainwashed by Steinway. And it's, this piano is, uh, is definitely one of my favorites that we've done in a long time. So let's check it out. Why don't we, why don't we look at the, let's look at the cosmetics first. I think it turned out beautiful. Dust on it. Dusty, dusty shop. Try to keep it off as much as possible. Yeah, look at that inside. So this, of course, has a has a, that automotive paint on it. I think it just looks amazing, and it's it's just super smooth. Actually, we're working on another Mason Hamlin. Let's go quickly. Let's go over here where we have another Mason Hamlin that we're working on. And you can see, just a little reminder, here's the plate of that. Here's the plate of the, that Mason Hamlin. This one's a double B and yours is a double A. But uh, just to kind of give you a little Reminder of what turn of the century, turn of the century look like. So, yeah, maybe I'll pull this off. You can get it even better. You. Whew, that looks, I mean, it looks like a brand new piano. strings you can see the new hammers all all the action is new the shanks and the weapons everything's totally replaced and a new decal right here on the part yeah it's a serial number and the decal on the soundboard the soundboard is also refinished and there were a handful of repairs on the soundboard and hopefully they're mostly invisible Keys. The keys we kept original ivory, and I think it's I think it's worth it in spite of having a few a few chips, which of course you can actually fill those with acrylic. There is there is a product that it smells like a, a nail salon because it's the same product that you fill in with, but I, I just don't like doing that because it tends to fade at a different rate and so a few years from now it would be it would be a totally different shade of, of ivory even if it were still there because it doesn't it doesn't really last all that long it often chips out and it's kind of a disappointing product actually so so I think the little chips in there I think it's worth it keeping the ivory but you can see the ivory is nonetheless we sanded it down polished it up cleaned it and got a lot of the, the finger oil off of there and then, I guess let's also, let's check out the pedals and the, the wire, it's great. And casters and the little barrels on the, on the uh, legs, that's great.
actually hasn't been tuned. Adeline, I think you tuned it last, is that right? Yeah, like, it was like several weeks ago. Yeah, several weeks ago. And it, it sounds still... still sounds, isn't that bass? It's, it's, <laughs> yeah, I do too. Everybody around here is like raving about this piano. For good reason. Do you want to, do, will you play something classical? To you and I think I think it should be. Oh, I've got that. Too. You got that. The score can do impressions. Yeah, yeah, impre yeah, that too. Impressionist.